Hey everyone, in case you can't tell by my big puffy coat, winter is fast upon us. And that means it's time to start thinking about winterizing our TAB 400 Little Bear. We just finished watching Creed at New Camp's video on winterizing a TAB 400 and figured it's time to try it ourselves. Now the most obvious choice for winterizing is RV antifreeze. Now you may have seen Mandy's video from a few years back about winterizing her TAG, and she used something a little bit different. She used vodka. The main reason we prefer using vodka over antifreeze is because it's natural and requires very little flushing whenever we go to dewinterize a few months later. One drawback, however, is that the freezing point of vodka is negative 16 to 17 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you're going to be anywhere colder than that, you might want to use RV antifreeze. And so today, we're going to winterize our TAB 400 using vodka. All of the steps for winterizing your TAB 400 that occur outside of the camper will be on the driver's side on the rear end. Step one is draining the freshwater tank. The drain valve could be found underneath the camper on the rear side of the tire. You can see it's clearly labeled. Here's the drain valve. You simply reach over and turn it in line and start draining your freshwater tank. Once the freshwater tank is empty, just close the valve. The second step is to turn on the water pump and open all of your faucets on both the hot and cold side. This includes your kitchen sink, your bathroom sink, your shower, and your outdoor shower. For us, the only faucets that we've used in our camper are the kitchen sink and the outdoor shower, so we'll drain those. When water stops flowing out of your faucets and shower heads, turn off the pump. The next step is to open the low point drain valves. Those are found in the little hatch door that allows you to access the Aldi system and the drains on the outside of the camper. When you first open the hatch, you'll notice two red and blue lines immediately inside of the hatch. Those are the low point drain lines. Drain those one at a time and just open the valve until water stops coming out. And then once the first one is empty, close it and open the second one. Once both of those are done draining, the next step is to open the Aldi pressure relief valves. These are the next set of valves, the two yellow ones that are located just a little bit further inside the hatch. We'll open these one at a time and let them drain before moving on to the next one. Once the first one is done draining, we'll close it and then open the second one. Both the low point valves and the Aldi pressure relief valves will both drain directly underneath the camper. And for those of you who use your toilet, the next step is to depress the toilet flush pedal. Next up is draining your gray and black water holding tanks. I recommend first doing the black water tank and then following it with the gray water tank. Now, we don't use our toilet, so we don't have anything in the black water tank, but you would drain it the same way that you always do, probably going to an RV dump station. And we use biodegradable soap, so we can dump our gray water tank onto the ground. Next up, we'll take the Aldi bypass valve and turn it into bypass mode. This bypasses the, using the Aldi system to heat your water, but it allows you to still use the Aldi system to run your heater. With the Aldi system bypass valve put in bypass mode, this will keep any antifreeze, or in our case, vodka, which we'll use later, from getting into the Aldi system. Now we're ready to introduce the fluid that we'll use to keep our system from freezing in the winter. Uh, this could be RV antifreeze, or in our case, we're going to use vodka. We have two options for doing this. The first option is to use about four to five gallons and put it into the freshwater tank here. If you do this method, the next step will be going into the camper and turning on all of the faucets and shower heads to get the antifreeze or vodka in the lines. The second choice that you have is taking off the inlet to your water pump and introducing the vodka or antifreeze there. The benefits of introducing the antifreeze or vodka at the pump level instead of the freshwater tank level are that it requires a lot less, only one to two gallons versus four to five, and you avoid getting your entire freshwater tank full of antifreeze or vodka, which makes dewinterizing a lot easier because the flushing process is a lot faster. And so we're going to choose method number two. The only downside to introducing the antifreeze or vodka at the pump level is that it's a little bit tricky to get to. 
Underneath the refrigerator or the wardrobe, depending on which floor plan of tab 400 you have, you'll have a panel that's held on by two screws. Simply unscrew those, remove the panel, and then you have access to the water pump. When you first take off the panel and look underneath, it can look a little bit intimidating. You have electrical cords going everywhere and pipes and whatnot. But if you just look at the pump, here is the outlet of the pump. Here is the inlet of the pump. And you simply follow this line around to here. And that is the connection that's coming up from your fresh water tank. So the pump will suck water up from the fresh water tank and then go into the pump and then to whatever fixture you're using. So we'll remove this connection right above the fresh water tank. And it's a very easy connection. You just take it off with your hand. I always like to have something handy whenever I'm taking something off the pump, just in case water starts going everywhere. So, I have a large 1.75 liter bottle of very cheap vodka, still 80 proof, which has a freezing temperature of around negative 16 to negative 17 degrees Fahrenheit. So as long as we don't go any place too cold, we should be okay. I'll take the vodka and pour it into a pot. And then I'll put the pump inlet hose into the pot of vodka. We'll use a little bit of teamwork. I'll have Mandy turn the pump on and we'll pump vodka through our water lines. Turn the pump on. So now I'll refill with vodka. And we'll keep repeating this process a couple times. We make sure to have the sinks open and we monitor them to see when vodka starts coming out of the sink. And we know once the vodka starts coming out of the sink that we have vodka through our water lines and they should be prepared for winter. And the last step is to pour a little bit of antifreeze or vodka down each of the sinks, the shower, and the toilet. It's recommended to put about a half gallon down each sink, about a quarter gallon down the shower, and a little bit in the toilet. Now since all of this is going to the gray water or black water tank, you could easily use antifreeze and not affect the flush out that you'll have to do at the end of the season when you dewinterize your fresh water tank. But we have a lot of leftover cheap vodka, so we're just going to finish it off because I don't want to drink this. Hopefully this video helps take some of the guesswork out when winterizing your Tab 400. If you have any questions or want a more detailed outline of the step-by-step -step process, check out the blog in the links below. So, here's to happy camping all winter long. Hey everyone! Yes, and you're on Talk Loud.